What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about a new OnePlus phone coming out. They have a bunch of new kind of mid-tier, low-tier phones coming out very, very soon. And we have some full, almost full specs on one of them. This information comes from Yogesh who says the OnePlus Nord CE. Here's the spec, 6.43 inch full HD AMOLED display. It'll have a 90 hertz refresh rate with in-display fingerprint sensor. The processor inside will be the Snapdragon 750G. The rear camera will be a 64 megapixel OmniVision plus eight megapixel ultra wide and two megapixel depth camera. The front camera will be a 16 megapixel front facing camera with 4,500 milliamp battery. Warp charge 30T plus, so basically it'll charge at 30 uh, watts. Next, you're gonna get 70% charge in 30 minutes, a mono speaker, which is a little bit disappointing, and the storage inside of a UFS 2.1, which is pretty slow comparatively to what you get with the higher end phones. This should be out very soon. Next up is a little bit of fun. It's not really news, but I got the idea from Ben Geskin because he put out his iOS 15 wish list, which you can see right here, he wants, once they, they should be announcing this next week, inter, interactive widgets, split screen view, so you can do multiple windows, always on display, smarter Siri, so that this series is a smarter assistant, better background downloads. Um, ultimately, what I would like to see, I'm kind of with him, I would like to see split screen so I can run multiple windows on there. Um, beyond that, I'd probably like to see their customization a little bit easier, more theming that's easier without having to go too in depth and that it actually works well. Um, same thing with the icons, that kind of stuff. And then beyond that, I, I that's probably about it because I know they're not going to change their, the way they set their apps up now on the home screens where you have like, you have your home screens, but then you can have like their app launcher. I don't love their app launcher completely. I, I like the way Android has an app launcher on like a completely separate area of the phone, but I don't see them doing that. But ultimately, yeah, I think this, in a close all button for their apps, that's what I'd like to see. Let me know about your iOS 15 wish list. Last story of the day is a new technology that might come out for the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Galaxy Z Fold 3. But ultimately, if it doesn't hit these phones, it would probably hit something a little bit later. It is a new patent that Samsung has locked in in terms of displays. This information is coming from Let's Go Digital, who say Samsung Galaxy Z Fold and Z Flip get round display pixel display. So what that means, round diamond pixel display, that means Samsung is working on a new round Pix diamond pixel display possibly intended for the Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 foldable phones. They say here that the that Samsung has uh, filed a trademark on January on June 1st, and in that trademark, what that ultimately is kind of kind of bring you is a couple of things. So, it, it, I guess what this diamond pixel display is is it structurally resembles the human eye, and it's good for light sensitivity. Uh, so human eyes, I guess, are more sensitive to green. So this screen would end up being it would designed by considering color sensitivity on eyes for the display. It's going to have sharpness and just a beautiful overall display, I guess. But still, it's going to be more for, you know, if your eyes are sensitive to certain colors, this should be great for that. As more information comes out about the Z Flip 3 and Fold 3, especially if this is exactly in it, we'll let you know. But ultimately, this is a technology that should be in one of their future phones. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, what's a feature that you think is missing from the phone that you use? Have it be an iPhone, a Galaxy phone, some other phone, like what is there a piece of, is there a software thing that you want added? Let me know in the comments down below. It's really difficult coming from a Samsung phone and be like, you know what, this is missing. Especially when I just thought of this question off the top of my head. Um, I'm not sure, I can't, I personally can't think of anything. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Get my memory jogged. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.